Well, hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are going to delve into the concept of multiplying unit fractions. We are in our home links, Unit 7, Lesson 3, so let's just jump right in. It says, write a multiplication equation to describe each picture or story. Well, this first picture tells a story about four sad and lonely fifths. As you can see, I've got four circles that have been divided into five parts, and each of those parts have one of the five parts shaded okay. in, otherwise known as one-fifth. So I would need to write a multiplication equation to show what this is telling me. Okay, So I have four circles. They each have one-fifth shaded in. So how many fifths are there total? Well, just by looking, I can tell there is one, two, three, four fifths. So that must be my answer. Four times one fifth equals four fifths. Now, when you look at the multiplication equation, you can see that when we multiplied, we didn't do anything with the denominator. All we did was look at the numerator and multiply it by the number of fractions. Okay, 4 times 1 equals 4. So 4 times 1 fifth is going to give me a total of 4 fifths. Now you might be wondering to yourself, well, what's the big deal? huh? I could just count them. I could just look at them, right? Well, what would happen if instead of 1 fifth we were now looking at four-fifths a piece. As you can see, I recolored my fractions to represent four-fifths instead of one-fifth because each pi, each circle, has four out of the total five-fifths colored in. Now, I could just count all the pieces one by one, but you know what? Multiplication is easier. So, same number of circles, right? But now, a different number of fractions are colored in. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 4 fifths. And again, all I have to do here is think about the numerator. And what's 4 times 4? Well, you and I both know, hopefully at this point in your 4th grade career, that 4 times 4 is 16. 16 what? Well, that would be 16 fifths. Right? So whenever I'm multiplying fractions by a whole number, all I have to do with the fraction is think about the numerator. Now, sometimes kids will get confused. They will look at a problem like 4 times 1 fifth, and they feel like just multiplying the numerator isn't enough. Like, they somehow feel that they have to do something more. So they will take a problem like 4 times 1 fifth, and they will come up with an answer like this, 4 twentieths, because they went and multiplied the numerator by the whole number, and then they multiplied the denominator by the whole number, and now they have a fraction that does, just doesn't work. So I'm going to scribble over this because that's wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. But it's understandable why kids would do that, because they see numbers and they want to multiply them. Okay. But when we are thinking about fractions, this number, this number right here, the denominator, doesn't change. It is describing what we're multiplying together. It's the unit, it's the item that we're multiplying. It's one of the reasons why multiplication was invented in the first place, to help us count groups of things. Okay, So 4 times 1 fifth is going to give us 4 fifths, okay? The second part of this question says, what is the fourth multiple of one-fifth? Well, if you recall, when I uh, think about multiples, I'm just adding the factor to itself over and over again. So if I skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, the fifth multiple of two is ten, because two times five is ten. So what is the fourth multiple of one-fifth? Well, it's a little redundant. But the fourth multiple is four-fifths. If I were to write out 
the multiples in order. I'd have one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths. This is the fourth number in a row. It's my fourth multiple, four-fifths. So these two answers are the same. Okay? So when you take a look at these next three problems, you need to be thinking about what is the fraction I'm multiplying and what is the whole number factor I'm multiplying it by. And again, I'm only going to be looking at the numerator. Okay, so for example, in question number three, Dimitri fixed a snack for five friends. Each friend got half of an avocado. How many avocados did Dimitri use? So if I have five friends, like so, and they're each getting a snack of half of an avocado, I'm assuming it's going on toast or something, just half an avocado doesn't seem like much of a snack, but I digress. Again, all I'm doing is I'm multiplying the whole number, 5, times the numerator, 1. And of course, 5 times 1 is 5. 5 what? That would be 5 halves. 5 halves of an avocado. Otherwise known as 2 and a half. As you can see right down here, if I draw three circles and divide them each in half. If I were to shade in five of those halves, like so, green for avocado, of course, you can see I have more than two, but less than three. That's two and a half. Okay, So there would be half an avocado left over for Dimitri to eat some other time. Two and Down at the bottom in the practice, we have some addition and subtraction of some fractions. This is a good review, especially since that multiplication is just repeated addition. So when you check your work, you can check your work using a repeated addition fraction problem, right? Questions? Well, you know what to do. You need to talk to your math teacher. Now, if I don't happen to be your math teacher and you're just watching this video because your math teacher has great taste in YouTube content, uh, you need to reach out to them. Whether you're a virtual student watching this video from home or if you're in class uh, in person with your teacher and you just happen to be watching this at home as part of a homework assignment or maybe you're even watching this in class uh, sitting at your desk and your teacher is just patiently waiting for the video to complete to field such questions from his class or her class well you just need to ask them they don't know to help you unless you tell them okay i hope this video was helpful to you at least in some part um until we talk again friends good luck have a good day thanks